What got me into baking is um, I'm, I'm very picky with uh, the food that I eat. So every time I want to eat something, I think, uh, I think to myself, and how can I change this to where it's going to be how I want it? I just couldn't find the one specific that really goes well with my, um, I guess, my pickiness. My name is Lourdes Chamarabon and I like to cook. There's a couple of things that I, I would consider my favorite things to bake. One of them is, of course, the leche flan. Um, really just, it's um, normally just, I guess, known here in the States as flan, simply flan. But in the Philippines, we call it leche flan because it's made with milk and um, eggs and just a custard. And then the other one is um, this mocha, I, mocha buttercream icing, um, like flag, I'm sorry, chocolate cake with mocha buttercream icing. A lot of people ask me why I love leche flan. I think it goes back to when I was little. It's always been my favorite dessert. I remember whenever we'd go to parties and um, there would be dessert table, I immediately would just go over there. I don't go, I don't care for any other food. I go to desserts right away. And I get so happy whenever I see leche flan. And there was one time actually, we were, we were like around this round table, right? We were sitting around the table. And the, um, the hostess of the party, she came over and we, we finished our, you know, our dinner. And she came over and she said, oh yeah, desserts are here. And it was leche flan. So I was so excited, I was so happy. And I got up and she was right next to me and she was holding the tray right above my head. <laughs> and the whole thing <laughs> with the syrup and everything just, yeah, fell over me. <laughs> and the syrup like in my face. I didn't care, <laughs> I want a plate. <laughs> Give me some leche. <laughs> Another dish I like to make is um, macaroni salad, Filipino style. And over here in the States, I believe the macaroni salad that they get to um, experience or you know eat over here is more from uh, the island um, cuisine. And uh, in the Philippines, we put we put a little bit of sweetness to it. We add milk and cheese and raisins. A lot of people find it kind of strange, you know, when you have raisins in it, uh, people probably frowning upon it. <laughs> but yeah, whenever I make it, it kind of takes me back to the uh, experience and growing up in the Philippines, uh, especially Christmas, because I remember we would have them, not always in our household, but a lot of our friends, you know, whenever they have gatherings, it's always one of, it's always one of the staples they would have macaroni salad. And whenever there's macaroni salad, I get excited. So one of the, one of the other things I love. This one we taste sweeter. And we put um, chicken. We'll get the macaroni right here. Cooked al dente. And I just... Um, when it comes to the stuff that I make or cook, bake, um, a lot of people, yeah, complimented me in um, whenever I bring them desserts or heart. any dish or whatever. Lordy's Litsy Plan is the most creamiest Litsy Plan that I taste. Um, you don't taste the smell of the egg, nothing. I wish to copy that recipe. It's so yummy. The most yummiest litsy plan I ever taste in my life, in my 16th life of existence in this world. Nothing can, can compare to Lordy's um, litsy plan. Order? I think it's because of uh, how I cook it, I I think of just not not just myself, 
but the other people who are actually going to be consuming it. And I take note, mental note, um, of how they like the food. So right before I make them. Um, for example, whenever I make the leche flan, um, I, I kind of think of the people who's going to be eating it and how they, they've been telling me before, oh, I love how your leche flan is not so sweet and I love how um, it's creamy. So when, right before I make it, I think of that. And then when I make it, you know, it, not only the ingredients go into the cooking and baking, but also the thoughts of um, how the people would enjoy it after. And I believe that's pretty much why, you know, it's kind of different. And whenever people get to taste it, they feel, I guess it becomes personal. They, they realize, that, oh, I, I really love this, you know. Um, you, I think you made it especially for me. And I do, whenever I bake something, um, like when I bake the chocolate cake, I think of how they want it. Oh, some people I would bake it for, they, they want it a little bitter or a little sweeter. Then I make it that way. It's not really my, my choice of uh, um, taste or for the cooking seasoning, but if that's what the person I'm gonna give it to or who I'm gonna prepare it for, um, that's what their preference, I go with it. And I think that's, uh, that's one of the good things about um, my cooking and baking, and I think that's what you know make it different from others. Thank you.